Well, hey everybody, I'm back out at the Boring Company here in Bastrop, Texas. And this is the Hyperloop Plaza behind me. And the reason why I came out today is because of some of the new construction that is going on here. And in particular, uh, hopefully the sun won't be too bright, but you can see behind me there's the new structure that is being added here to the Hyperloop Plaza. And uh, this is uh, one of those structures that I had mentioned on my previous video about uh, the construction beginning. And as you can see, they're going vertical now. So they have the steel beams and columns being put up. They have this pretty large slab and it's just to the uh, side of the Hyperloop Plaza itself. And as I turn around here, you can get a good idea of behind me, there's the uh, sign for Hyperloop Plaza as well. And of course the SpaceX uh, Starlink facility behind me. And there is a lot of construction going on at the Starlink facility as well, particularly on that section to the side of it. And what uh, you can tell is that there is a lot of grade work. There's CFA piles being drilled and it looks like some large rebar cages are also being prepared. So it's a fairly substantial addition or structure that they are adding here. And of course, all of this is in Bastrop, Texas, just about, uh, I don't know, 12 miles, maybe 20 kilometers to the east of Giga, Texas. And it's all uh, kind of really closely uh, packed together when you think of Tesla, the Boring Company, and SpaceX with the Starlink. Of course, the big news yesterday was the movement of X headquarters here to Texas. And I don't know if uh, the structure that uh, we are seeing behind me here is uh, going to be for that or if maybe the structure that they're building on the other side of the road as well. But uh, clearly there is a lot of uh, construction that is going on here, a lot of changes uh, in addition to what's going on with the Boring Company. So anyway, we're going to get a chance to uh, see from the sky uh, some of the facilities, some of the work boring company as well and some of the changes since I was last here. So let's summarize what we've discussed. This is the current layout of all the facilities and construction in the Bastrop area. The SpaceX facility is 606,000 square feet and is operational. This green large area is getting graded for future construction. This pink area is a facility that is being erected right now, possibly for X. And that's right next to the Hyperloop Plaza, which is a community center. And of course, the Boring Company main facility here at Bastrop, Texas. This construction and infrastructure upgrades does provide economic benefits for the community. And I'd like to give you an example just using the SpaceX facility here. Now, this is one of the newest facilities for SpaceX. It's about a 15 minute drive to the east from Giga, Texas. And this is where Starlink satellites and terrestrial components of that system are manufactured. SpaceX has already invested more than 48.2 million in infrastructure at the site. That includes the 43,606,000 square foot factory. And also a recent TDLR permit review indicates an additional 21.5 million in new projects are currently underway or have recently been completed. And this adds to that original 48.2 million. So a lot of economic benefits to the region. So let's take a look at some of the permits to get a better idea of what this entails. Now the Starlink facility itself, the basic structure is completed. Production began earlier this year, although there is continuing work to finish out the inside of the basic structure. And this permit shows that not only have they added in some additional building core and tenant finish out for production, but they also now list the site as 606,000 square feet, which is slightly larger than it was originally uh, described as in earlier permits. So that suggests that we probably have mezzanine levels on the inside to give added square feet. And that's consistent to some of the construction materials that I showed you later last year uh, while the facility was in construction. This permit shows that additional work inside the existing structure continues to add facilities such as, in this case, the Southwest break room. Now I'd like to point out that the word echo is uh, what SpaceX calls this entire project. The facility and the operations that they are doing here is called Project Echo. And you'll see that in many of the permits. 
As production ramps up and more employees are hired and are working at this facility, the need for expanded wastewater treatment plants has become important. And very recently, SpaceX completed this 1 million wastewater treatment plant expansion. And I've given you a map of approximately where that may be. There are some large water tanks and a treatment facility. I think that's where this is uh, referring to. Also, to support the growing working population, SpaceX has been expanding the parking lots for this facility, and there are two permits that discuss that. This one is for a new $2 million east parking lot, and I've indicated where that is located and an insight uh, image showing you what it looks like now. And then another $2 million south parking lot expansion and again, I've indicated on the map where that is located, and the inset gives you an idea of what that looks like now. So about $4 million worth of new parking has been added in the last several months at this facility as well. This next permit is interesting because it gives us an indication of some future development that is underway for the SpaceX Starlink facility. In this case, taking a look at the map, I've given you an idea of where this uh, new structure is being constructed. This is a $7 million Project ECHO office expansion, which will also include a kitchen and laboratory. The structure is going to be about 150,000 square feet. And the basic structure is looking to be completed at the end of October of this year. And I expect it, it will continue to be fitted out for more time than that. Now, what's interesting is that uh, with this overlay, you can get a sense of just how much larger the clearing location is being done right now. All of this land is being graded. We see CFA pile drilling. We also see large rebar cages that could indicate uh, columns uh, going to be for a much larger structure. And uh, this is going to be something to monitor to figure out what exactly is being added here. Uh, it almost looks like there's enough clearing for a, another factory of about the same size as the existing one. So definitely a lot of uh, changes, a lot of mystery, and more permits to be looking for to see what will be done with this entire area uh, just to the north of the main factory. And finally, for more future development is this structure that is being erected on the opposite side of the uh, Farm to Market 1209, which separates the SpaceX facility and the Boring Company and Hyperloop Plaza. This map gives you an idea of where that is located, and the inset also gives you not only where it's located next to the Hyperloop Plaza, but also shows that there are some of the steel beams and columns already being erected for this facility. Now, there are rumors that with the move of X from California to Texas, this might be a facility that supports some of the X operations. Don't think it's going to be for the headquarters itself, but it could be for a support organization part of X and allow for that headquarters move to begin until they get a new facility. Again, this is going to be something that we're going to have to monitor, and it's a very exciting development as well. So overall, this gives you a good view of uh, all of the construction that is currently underway, the changes at the Bastrop facilities for SpaceX, the Boring Company, Hyperloop Plaza, and possibly 4X as well. And uh, this is definitely something that uh, I hope you found interesting and informative.